Hello everyone. My name is Sue Jarvis and I'm the Technology Director for Macomb School District. Um, in thinking about the virtual instruction that we'll be having for the 2021 school year, we know that all scholars will need a device. So it is the district's plan to provide each scholar with a device. At this time, the plan is for elementary scholars to receive an iPad and secondary scholars to receive a Chromebook. The district already utilizes iPads in grades K through six and Chromebooks in grades seven through 12. So these are the devices that students are already familiar with. The iPads do not have unique logins on them, so this will make it easier for very young scholars to access the apps. Once they hit the home button on the iPad, they'll just be able to choose the app that they need to work in. The Chromebook uses the scholars' email, usernames, and passwords that they use in district. So scholars will be able to use that same username and password out of district. The technology department will be able to provide support for any scholars that can't remember their username and password or are having problems logging in. The district is work working diligently to provide internet access to all scholars via hotspots or other methods. The district has plans to partner with T-Mobile to provide hotspots for scholars that have no internet access at home. Uh, even though you have two or three scholars possibly at home, each home would only get one um, hotspot or access point, not one per child like the devices. And these would be for the homes where they have absolutely no internet access. But there are some temporary access points in the meantime that can be used by scholars. Our local Sparklight company provided three hotspots that were placed at First Baptist Church in Summit, the Alpha Center in Beartown, and Community Parks in Macomb. Scholars that live near those locations are welcome to go to those parking lots and connect to the Sparklight Wireless. Seaspire also has made wireless connectivity available in the parking lot of their location next to Golden Corral. The library has computers available for use. That's the public library here in Macomb. However, users must sign up with the library in order to use their devices and there's a limited amount of time that users can stay in the library and use those devices. The library has also made wireless access available in their parking lot. Now with virtual instruction, we have um, piloted a program during the summer, our summer learning program, and virtual instruction was delivered via Zoom during the summer. But when school resumes for the 2021 school year, we will no longer use Zoom. Virtual instruction will, will be delivered through Microsoft Teams. Teams work similar to Zoom, but is more robust and has more security features built in. Canvas is a new system that we will be using. It's a learning management system. A learning management system is a program that houses all instructional resources for the teacher, practitioners, and scholars. Canvas will, Canvas will replace Google Classroom that we have used for the last two or three years. But Canvas is also going to give teacher practitioners the ability to create and distribute assignments create and administer classroom assessments, and provide a location for scholars to submit those assignments and projects. Um, Canvas also has an honor lock system built into it, so if an assessment is given while a scholar is at home on their virtual instruction day, uh, it will be easy to see if that is the correct scholar that's doing that work. Scholars will also have Canvas away from school campuses so they can review assignments or class notes outside the classroom anytime they want to and are near an internet access. Classlink is another new program the district will be using next year. Classlink allows scholars to access multiple apps with one username and password. A type of program like that is called a single sign-on program. So once the scholars log into Classlink, they will see a link of the applications that they use, be able to click on that application and automatically be logged into that application instead of having to log into Classlink, then log into each one of the applications that they need. This is going to save instructional time and reduce frustration because scholars will not have to remember multiple usernames and passwords for multiple programs, and that way they will not spend as much time logging out of one program into another. We felt like this would be especially um, beneficial for our younger scholars so that they would only have one username and password and be able to access everything they need. Now with all these programs, we realize that there's going to be some training necessary. 
So training for the new programs will be provided for teacher practitioners and scholars. Due to the increase in reliance on the internet for virtual instruction, parents and guardians, teacher practitioners, and scholars will receive training on internet safety. We know these are a lot, a lot of changes that will be coming on next year, but um, we are looking forward to a very successful 2021 school year. Thank you.